position of AL and AA amyloid. There is a diagram which you can draw. Let me show you. See this blue part is there. No, this one is actually the uh, AL. Okay, how AL is happening. Multiple myeloma, B cell lymphoma, plasma cell dyscrasias are the stimulus for the production of the excess immunoglobulins. So, the B cells, monoclonal B cell proliferation, the plasma cells and the B lymphocytes, they are going to produce, B lymphocytes itself become plasma cells, right? So, the plasma cells produce excess immunoglobulins. Basically, the light chains will be more, the lambda and the kappa chains. Fine. Now, what will happen? There is partial degradation by the macrophage. However, they survive all this and then there is deposition. The non-fibrillar components then come in and stabilize the uh, deposit and insoluble fibril protein that is amyloid, AL amyloid. Okay, AL amyloid is formed. Now, coming back here, we are going to look at the AA1. There are chronic inflammations um, and cancer, familial Mediterranean fever. Familial Mediterranean fever looks like you have to write it. Familial Mediterranean fever. These are going to activate the macrophages. The macrophages are going to release the cytokines that is the interleukin 1 and 6. These are going to uh, activate the liver to produce SAA that is the serum amyloid active, associated protein. Now uh, the reticular endothelial system is going to come here and uh, they are going to try to partially degrade uh, these uh, proteins. And then the non-fibrillar components like the AP component and the glycosaminoglycan and the APOE also is mentioned here. They are going to come and stabilize these deposits and here you have the AA amyloid. Basically, the AA amyloid is uh, because of the SAA, right? Because produced by the macrophage, uh, produced by the liver, liver is stimulated by the interleukins. That because This is because of chronic inflammation, cancer and familial Mediterranean fever main thing you have to know these three multiple myeloma b cell lymphoma other plasma cell dyscrasias for a l for a a it is chronic inflammation cancer familial mediterranean fever oops such a long video as usual we are going to close this video with the references references harsh mohan textbook of pathology actually there is one thing i wanted to tell you here in the partial degradation of the proteolysis for AL, they have written macrophage and for AA, it is reticuloendothelial system. So, there is a slight uh, demarcation here. Macrophages, partial degradation for AL and reticuloendothelial cell for uh, AA. Okay. And um, there is uh, something uh, here which they have added, the urinary excretion of the Benz-Johns proteins. Fine. And uh, amyloid enhancing factor is going to help the deposition in AA. Did you understand what I am trying to tell you? Macrophage in AL, reticular endothelial system in AA, urinary excretion of Benz-Johns proteins in AL and uh, amyloid enhancing factor will help the deposition in AA.